Hey, with me, everybody. Guess what? We sold a Jeep. I can't wait to share this one with you. finally come where the 2000 Jeep Wrangler TJ has been sold absolutely no doubt about it this car will be leaving Rogers Wranglers today the stickers are coming off of it right now as we speak it's the end of the month that's right just a few days left before we end May of 2020 and move into June but the TJ has sold. It's been a great little Jeep to have on the lot. This Wrangler has generated over a thousand leads. No joke, folks. Over a thousand internet leads this Jeep has created from Facebook to our website. People from all over the East Coast of the United States of America have messaged me about it and i have seen over 600 times is it available is it available is it available is it available over 500 times and how's the condition how's the condition but the main question everyone asks is it available and guess what finally today i get to message you and say sold no longer available because someone finally decided to pull the trigger and buy this beautiful 2000 Jeep Wrangler TJ with 113,000 miles, 4.0 automatic with a hard top, pro comp tires with a little bit of rust or maybe a little more than a little underneath. I knew it would be a great Jeep for somebody. And on top of that, cold AC. Stay with us. All right, everybody. So we are driving in the 2000 Jeep Wrangler TJ, the white one. You know, well, it actually drives out really well. Cold AC, got a nice CD player in here at Kenwood. And it drives like a Jeep that's 20 years old. I mean, I don't really, you know, sometimes I don't understand some people. We've had so many people come in and I think what happens is a lot of folks get really used to driving, you know, something newer or just something different than a wrangler and uh, and then maybe they went out and they got a rental car one time and drove a drove a little jeep rental car you know the newer jeep wranglers they they just don't they don't drive like this um you know they drive really to be honest with you more like a regular vehicle i mean it's not until you start lifting them and putting some accessories and stuff like that on them and until they really start driving more like a jeep if you ask me but I mean, for 7,900 bucks in an, in an economy right now or in a marketplace of people that really are hot on buying Jeep Wranglers. I mean, here in Charleston, we don't have any hills. We don't have any anywhere really to go off-road that, but we do for sure get two or three beautiful beaches. And, uh, and, you know, not even two hours away, you can head up to Greenville, South Carolina and go camping and off-roading and do some of that stuff with the hills. But, I mean, in an area like this, we got a bunch of people buying Jeeps. And, uh, you know, every day now, since springtime hit, I've been selling a Jeep Wrangler. This one here, as you can see, it drives fine. It cranks up, it runs good. The only thing that it had going on with it was it did have rust up underneath it on the on the frame rail or not the frame rails but whatever those rails were right there we filmed it before here on the channel it did have a good bit of rust under it but at the end of the day like these people this will be the third vehicle at their house in the driveway they're going to go out and drive it on the weekend she said she'll drive it back and forth to work sometimes and things like that so they're going to enjoy the wrangler for the most part and uh you know they're not really all that concerned so much about some of the rust under here and i think they were the perfect people to buy it so there it is just put some gas in it put a little fuel in there believe it or not we got a little pink rogers wrangler sticker on the back because it is a lady and it's a girl that bought it but she looks great look at it very nice little white jeep and uh and they're just tickle pink about it they're so excited about their little jeep running for today so i wish them the best of luck with it i hope they enjoy it i think they got a nice little wrangler for the money 
and uh, you know, we're talking hundreds and hundreds of messages online from customers and people coming to see it. It's been in our stock now at our store for almost 11 months, but finally the day has come where Chad Dolbier's hard work and messaging people and doing everything I could to make videos of the vehicle and filming the underneath of it for customers and just being up front with people has paid off. Finally got to sell it. So anyways, off to the next one, guys. I really appreciate your time for watching this YouTube video with me. And uh, let's hop back in this little Wrangler, head back to the store, and uh, we'll send these customers on their way. Everybody, as I always say, please come and see me at Rogers Wranglers if you're looking to buy yourself a Jeep Wrangler. I mean, there's no need to go to the new car dealership unless you plan on buying a brand spanking new Wrangler or getting something that's a few years old with a nice warranty on it. I mean, seriously, guys and girls, please come and see me. You can go out there searching and do a private party sale or buy on a Jeep Wrangler from somebody at their house, but you never know. There's a lot of scams out there and things like that can go kind of sideways real quick. You also, I mean, Depending on who you're buying from, make sure you get the service records and get as much information as possible and get a title in hand if you go to somebody's house to buy a car. But other than that, man, you just can't go wrong buying a Jeep Wrangler from people that love Jeeps, sell them, work on them, and drive them off-road. All right, guys, like, comment, and subscribe here on YouTube. I appreciate it. And if you have any Carolinas, come on down and say hello. We'll see you soon. Uh, her husband. You're talking about the Dodge Ram. Look at that thing. It's got a huge pipe coming out the back. They call that a coal roller. <laughs> so anyway, it's pretty cool. We'll get a shot of them cruising out in their Jeep today. And uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. That's what you call Dodge Ram coming diesel, baby. And I'll tell you right now, that thing get the job done on a daily basis. Here comes the Wrangler. There's our TJ going out. Look at her. Enjoy your Wrangler. <laughs> All right, another one sold from Rogers Wranglers. Y'all know where to come see me at. We'll see you on the next clip. All right, so if you're watching right now, you've been watching the video of me talking about that little 2000 TJ that, uh, that I sold today to a guy and girl. And uh, it's the end of the day now, it's five o'clock, and uh, it's been a long day. Sold a lot of cars today, that Jeep was one included, but right before this clip, you might've seen me walking up towards that TJ. And uh, you know, sometimes things don't always go the way you want them to. And that works for me as a sales guy, and it also works for the customers at some time. The, the guy and girl left today in that little TJ, and I, I thought everything was perfect. You know, I, uh, I put it through the shop again to get it checked out and inspected. Um, you know, everything we thought we could have done, I did with it. The customer drove it. I mean, we, we I, I even, when I took it down to get gas in it, I drove it a little farther and got up on it and did everything I could to make sure that Jeep was gonna be okay. And, you know, unfortunately, um, about an hour after they left, maybe even 45 minutes or so, they called back and they said the Jeep is broke down on the side of the road and they had to have it towed here. Um, unfortunately, the Jeep had started overheating. So the, the customer brings the Jeep back on a tow truck. I think we even paid to have it towed, whatever. And the guy walks in the door and he says, I want my money back. And uh, we gave him his money back. I mean, why not? You know, they're lucky though, because let me tell you one thing, there's some car dealers out there and I used to work for one of them right before I came to work here. They would not give you your money back. If the car broke down after leaving, it literally was your car, you're stuck with it. You know, that's the old saying when car dealers go, you know, if your car is as is, if it goes down the road after buying it today and it breaks into two, it's your vehicle. I think they even kind of prep us to say that sometimes when I worked at some of these other used car places, but thank God Rogers Enterprises, Rogers Wranglers here, they're good enough to their customers where they don't do that. So we give the guys money back. And, uh, you know, I hate to see a, a deal get rewound and not go through. But at the same time, I hate to see that happen to a customer. And, you know, it may have been just needing a radiator or who knows. We don't know why the Jeep was overheating. Um, it could have been a head gasket. We really don't know just yet. I mean, it's all happened at the end of the day. But when we find out, we'll do an update video and talk about it. But like I um, just got done talking with the other guy here, you know, some of these vehicles we got out here, like that one in per, per se, 
I get all my time, and if you're a sales guy, pay attention here. I mean, we get all our time into answering hundreds upon hundreds. I'm talking, I mean, seriously, on that Jeep of, of messaging people online. I mean, every day, seven to eight different customers or more asking, is it available? And you sit there and message them, you make videos about it, you make videos about the rust under it and just everything. All that time put into trying to sell that thing and today I was super stoked about getting rid of it and selling it after all that time and effort and work on that vehicle, just marketing it and trying to sell it and test driving with multiple customers. I mean, those aren't the only people that have been here that I've had to climb in the back of that Jeep and drive with. I mean, and, uh, and all that work and time lost we might as well just take a Jeep like that and just stick it in the backyard and call it a day, you know, and and never sell it, you know. Unfortunately, that's just some, you know, how it should be, I guess. I don't know, you know. Sometimes I'm like, hey man, if you're gonna buy stuff like that at the auction and and all, man, maybe maybe put the money into it, fix it up, you know, so it doesn't have these issues. But we do that. That's what we do. We buy older Jeeps, we fix them up, or we fix them, and we sell them. And uh, unfortunately, not every uh, every vehicle we sell is going to be always perfect. So, anyways, just is what it is. Have a great one, guys. Thanks for watching with me. And uh, I'm sure some of y'all can relate. All right. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Chad with Charleston Car Videos. I appreciate your time. And thank you for subscribing to the channel. We're almost over, almost at 32,000 subs. We're trying to get to 50. We got a long way to go. But the only way we're going to get there is if we keep working hard at doing these videos. Oh gosh, someone's beeping the horn at me. <laughs>